Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here with a knife review. Uh, this is actually the very first multi tool that I ever bought. It is an Ozark Trail. And I bought this at Walmart for about $10 or $12, uh, somewhere around there. It was pretty cheap, and I honestly really wasn't too concerned about quality. I just I wanted a multi-tool. So, this is what it looks like. The external tools, or well, the tools other than the pliers are on the outside when the pliers are closed, which I like because I don't have to open up the pliers to get to those tools. But these are what, this is what the pliers looks like. It's got the uh, wire cutters. Well, this also, this brings up the point that I really wasn't too concerned with quality because these wire cutters are, I don't know if they're technically wire cutters or not, but they're not sharp at all. But I don't cut wires with with pliers anyway. Um, but it's like most multi-tool pliers. It's got needle nose and regular combined into one, which is cool. I really don't use the pliers that much, but always a good thing to have. This isn't an everyday carry multi-tool for me. I just bought it for like backpacking and camping and stuff. I really bought it so that I could use the knives and the saws. So let's go through the other tools. This is a serrated blade. And the blades on this thing are actually really sharp. They, um, they work really good. This one's for cutting rope and it's got the smooth edge at the end. So then after that we have a few others and also these tools don't lock into place so like this is the can opener right here and it's not too sharp of a can opener. I've seen sharper ones. So I've never used that. And same with the screwdrivers. I've never used them, but here's a Phillips head and then here's a flat head screwdriver. I don't buy multi tools for the screwdrivers, but they can come in handy sometimes. This is the a uh, regular knife blade with the smooth blade, also very sharp, and it works great. I'm, I've used this before, but I kind of wish it would lock. Again, none of these tools lock, which is a major downside. Not necessarily for the knife and the saw, which is what this is, and the saw is pretty good. It works like a, any other saw would. Not meant for cutting down trees, of course, just for like cutting little pieces of limbs off, little twigs. Okay, now we have the bottle opener and another flathead screwdriver. Uh, I have not used either one of those, but, well, uh, bottle openers it's gonna work. I mean, I've used bottle openers on other multi-tools. It, it's just the same as any other bottle opener. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend using the screwdrivers or the awl, which is this thing here. That's the awl. It's also, the awl is not very sharp, but I wouldn't really recommend using those two screwdrivers or the awl or the two screwdrivers on the other side just because this the tools don't lock and well you know if you're sitting here using a 
using a screwdriver like this and you're turning and turning and you might it might slip like this and mess up on you and you really wouldn't want that so um I'm not going to I'm not necessarily going to recommend this multi tool if you're the kind of person that uses screwdrivers and things like that where you would actually need a locking tool because that's just not going to work out too well for you. But and like the knives, the knives in there are good and the saw is good and those are really the only things out of there I use except maybe the pliers every once in a while. But again, if you like to cut wires with your pliers, then these aren't going to work because they're not sharp at all. They're very, very dull. They don't even come to a point. It's just like a flat... It's just flat. I don't know. Anyway. Not the best quality. It's from Walmart. Let's face it. Walmart's not known for having the best quality stuff. Um, if you want a good quality one, go to, like, Sports Authority or, I guess, Bass Pro, maybe? I don't know if they sell them. They probably do. Or any other sporting goods store other than Walmart is probably going to have a lot better quality stuff, like Leatherman or Gerber. I recommend Gerber and Leatherman, both. They're very good companies. And I'll do some more reviews on other, like, knives and multi-tools like this. So, this is just, I just wanted to do this one first because this was the first one I ever had. So, that's all I have for you today. Uh, subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14 and until next time, be safe.